What's up, it's your girl Monifa and you're watching TrueExclusive.com. I am at the unsung premiere of the first unsung movie of the biopic for Mickey Howard, the Mickey Howard story. And when I tell you it was excellent, it's, that's what I mean. I am uh, a creative and, and like I'm a movie elitist and this is how a biopic about someone that I, you know, whose shoulders I feel like I stand on musically as a woman, as an artist and a woman in this business. Um, an excellent job. It was, it, was tr it was truthful, straight talk, but straight understanding. It was funny. It was, you, you felt it. Uh, I saw myself. I saw a lot of people I know. Um, I just applaud TV One for making history for the second time because they made history the first time airing my my wedding with to my wife. Um, but I would I, I commend TV One and Unsung Productions for an incredible, incredible biopic. Keep it up. Good job. I know Mickey. You know um, on a personal level, I've been able to be in her presence and are just chilling out and I know her, the spirit that she embodies and um, she's dope and artistically she was, she's amazing like she has catalog that's out this world she's an incredible artist and um, I was like well while I have you because I'm you know I have a project that I'm doing and I just wanted her blessing on something and she gave it to me who would I want to play me Wow um, I don't know I think that it probably knowing me it would probably be someone that people don't know Yet, it, it would be a, a, a person that is an, an excellent, amazing actress that I probably would find through the audition process. I am, I am a big um, believer in, in, in giving people the opportunities. And uh, somebody gave me one. Somebody listened. Somebody was obedient. You know, Hev was obedient when, when you know, he had the, the, the inclination to do my album. You know. Um, so I just definitely would love, probably love to pay that forward. And that's just what I would do. I, I probably wouldn't go, you know, with somebody known. And I don't even know anybody out right now who may, you know, like that would be young enough to play me younger. And, you know, because I still could play me my, you know, the story be over. <laughs> um, <laughs> any thoughts on the passing of Muhammad Ali and his legacy? I am. Um, I think a lot of people, um, you know, we all are going to leave this earth one day. And I think that he left this world leaving his mark on a lot of people's spirits, on, on, his, on, his, on his people. Um, he left a mark and he was, he was incredible. He, was, he sacrificed and he told the truth. And I think he lived a, 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 a huge, well-lived life. And it was time, it's time for him to rest. And he left his legacy and a mark on this world like nobody's business. So sleep well. Muhammad Ali, brother Muhammad Ali, rest well. I am, I am doing, you know, creating content for myself. I'm producing uh, theater. You know, I'm doing, I'm doing a one-woman show. I produced my first short film called Girl Talk, along with Sharon Braithwaite. I am excited. I am, I'm just, I'm living. I'm, I'm living this, the second half of my career and life, and with, with, with like a, a little kids, you know, like with a little kids' excitement. 